going on? It's Gauss 311 here, and I'm here with a review of the LEGO Lord of the Rings. Let's get a look at this. Shelob Attacks set. This is the second set that I got. I said uh, the other day when I kind of did a little build of the Gandalf Arrives that I was going to do another one, but I decided not to actually build this one because it's just tough with using an iPhone to record and be able to have hands free and a good enough view to show it and the other thing is I actually had this one built already and I already had the other one built but I, did, I took the Gandalf one apart and rebuilt it on the camera because it was easy. This one is actually pretty intricate on the Shelob so I didn't want to have to take it all apart and redo it again. So this is Lego set 9470 Shelob Attacks is 227 pieces and it is a very cool little set. I love this one because well, it's only the second one I have, but I still love it. The, spy, the Shelob is uh, really cool, the way it's set up. I think the way I'm going to do these is kind of go through the characters first, the figures, the minifigures you get, and then go through some of the main other things. So the first one I'll show, I guess, is Gollum. So here's Gollum. He is... Um, only can get him exclusive to this set, I believe, of the ones that are out at the time. Um, he looks pretty cool. He's got the little shorts going. He's got the hair on the back. The thing my wife even said, I showed her this today when I was done. Um, the thing that she said had been cool if you can change his, his head around to make Smeagol on one side and Gollum on the other, like he is in the movies. You know, he's Smeagol, he's kind of nice. And then when the Gollum part of him takes over, he becomes mean. But he's all Gollum all the time in this. And he comes with his little fish, which of course he uses, he eats the fishes in the movies, knocks them on the ground, whatever. So we got Gollum. We also have a exclusive to this set is Samwise Gamgee. So this is the Samwise Gamgee that is exclusive. He's got the hair, he's got the double face, he's got kind of this determined look there, which I like. And then he's got the holy shit what's going on look here. Um, comes with the cape. He's got some pretty cool detail on the front with the pouch that he carries. You know, it has all the lime is bread in and all that. And uh, some back detail here. You can kind of see. And of course, as being a hobby, he's got the short, small legs. So he always stands shorter than um, the other characters. He also comes with a sword, which I believe is Sting. Um, it doesn't actually say anything, but I would assume it's Sting because in this scene, he uses Sting to fight off the spire. And he comes with the um, Light of Elendril. I believe it's pronounced Elendril. Which is the item that Galadriel gave to Frodo when he left Lothlorien to protect him. The one that lights up, that Sam holds up against the spire and, and to help, you know, to light it and just kind of freak it out. And he's got the Hobbit uh, dew as well. So there is Sam, exclusive uh, to this set as well, along with Gollum. So you get two exclusive minifigures of this set. Pretty cool. And then the other one that you get is... Where's he at? Here he is. Is Frodo, of course. And he comes with the two faces. I have the freaked out look on him. Um, like when he gets st um, stung in the movie and she, you know, he's kind of got those freaky looking eyes. This is pretty much what this is depicting here. Um, those freaky looking eyes. He also has his regular kind of, you know, dramatic look as well. But you gotta go with that. That's awesome. And he's got the hair. Because he also has Sting as well, I believe. These swords look very similar to each other, and I'm thinking that they're supposed to both be Sting. Um, as you see. Because Frodo actually has it. Sam gets it for this scene. Picks it up to fight the spider. And, of course, the main thing here is you get the ring. And the ring actually looks pretty pretty good. And the cool thing about the ring, it kind of, let's see, it's big. It fits on top of their hand like this. Obviously, they don't have fingers. They're Legos. But it does fit on the hand, so he can hold it. Pretty cool. The set actually came with three rings. Um, so, as you see here, I got two more rings besides the one that... Frodo has. So in case you lose a ring, for whatever reason, they're small, you can easily lose these things, or something can happen to them. You already have backup ones if you keep them. So it's kind of cool, so you don't have to actually 
you know, mail in to Lego and try to get replacement rings unless you lose all three of them, and then, well, you got problems. There's a lot of extra little bonus pieces, an extra arm for Gollum, another Sting sword as a backup as well in case you lose that. So those are the figures in the set. Very cool. Look to them, I think. I dig it. And, okay, so we get to the actual items here, or the backgrounds. This is the cave entrance, I believe, to... It's either the cave to into the lair or the way out into the fight. I'm just, either way, I don't think it really matters. I'm not sure exactly which one they're trying to get with. So it's kind of a very small, easy look in a little cave to make entrance and with this um, you see they got the vines a couple of vines come growing on the top growing on the bottom here which kind of give it a little extra little color a little look to it one of the cool features of this though is it actually has a little kind of thing you can do with Gollum you can put him on here because remember in the movie he jumps on top of the hobbits toward the end Especially, he jumps on Sam, actually. I think with Sam's carry and Frodo. I don't know if it's that's the depiction of that scene, but he jumps on him a few times in the movie. But it actually has a little pivot thing where you can attack Sam with Gollum. Kind of a funny, cool little thing. So that's added into there as well. So that is the cave part of the set. And now to get to the whole thing that matters is Shelob. And Shelob is awesome in this set. And she is actually, she's pretty big too, so I don't know how we're going to be able to see if we could fit this in here. I may have to just completely do this by holding up the camera. Alright, so here's Shelob. As you can see, she is awesome looking. She's got the uh, the fangs move in and out. You can uh, kind of position those as you want. Her face is actually not it's not a sticker, it's painted on the brick or drawn however they do it on the actual brick. And you see she's got the one eye that's already screwed up um, from being stabbed. Um, all her legs, she has the eight legs, of course. And they all bend in very in multiple different ways. Mm -hmm. You can see it has tons of different form ways you can do it. You can bend either, and it's like double jointed, even. So you can kind of do the second one up and then this down. And then you can change these out, like have this one pointing up. You can do whatever you want with them. It's very cool. So she's got the eight legs. As you see. She's got the, the head that moves up and down. And the fangs. And there's a lot of inside stuff in here. A lot of stuff. It actually took a while to build this thing. Um, a lot of stuff inside that is cool. But of course, the back part is probably the coolest part and that is this little setup here where she has the like her string you can actually twist this bad boy and there's a lot of string in here actually you have to really wrap it into a little the way this is set up so you can undo the string as much as you want you can get it going pretty far way farther than this but you can get it actually and the con pretty much the point is because once she stabs Frodo in the movie, she wraps him up in the, sp in the string, you know. So you can actually kind of set that up if you want. With Frodo being uh, wrapped up in the string. And then you can actually, once you get that going, you can twist it back up and kind of draw him in. You know, I didn't really wrap him well, but... You can do it. If the string's strong enough to, to drag him all the way up, actually, if you get him good enough. So that is a really cool bonus thing they have here. The fact that they have that set up so well to actually be able to use it like that, I think it's awesome. If we can get inside of here, it's kind of hard to crack it open. Okay, it's actually not that bad. You see the way it kind of works. inside. It's a very cool design. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done Lego in a long time. I'm kind of I'm old. I'm just doing this to collect it. I'm only doing it because it's Lord of the Rings, really. Um, some of the other stuff is kind of interesting to me. But Lord of the Rings, is this is why I'm getting them. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of a very cool set. I don't know how much a Lord Lego stuff is like this, where it's this intricate, like this, being able to actually manipulate 
in this fashion. I'm sure there's a lot other ones. Like I said I don't really do Lego overall. I'm just doing it because it's this. But I am pretty impressed with the way what they've done. I'm sure a lot of people who have done Lego their whole life is probably thinking, oh this ain't nothing. But to me it's pretty damn cool. And like I said it's creating uh from my favorite stories. And uh that's why I like it so much. So I am gonna give this set a very uh, just well I don't really do school I don't think I'm gonna do, do actual ratings I guess if I would do a rating out of 10 I would probably give this God, I don't even know what to give it I would give it really high <laughs> let's just say that I would this is a buy if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings you should buy this set it is awesome and it's just for Sheila alone I mean it's an iconic scene all the sets are pretty much made from iconic scenes in the film this one is definitely an iconic scene. The spider is so cool looking. By far, the whole point of the set is the spider. And even the back come kind of, you see, kind of comes up, up and down. You can change her in so many different ways. Um, you can have her pose however you want. And then having the string in the back is cool. The mouth moving, the head moving. The characters are cool. They got Frodo with the bug out eyes and everything else. Like I said, this is the only set you get Gollum and Sam in. So you get two of those characters, which you're not going to get anywhere else, which is also cool. So, And it also comes with the little cave as a little bonus. So anyway, that's the Lord of the Rings Shelob Attacks. Awesome set, and definitely worth uh, picking it up if you're a Lord of the Rings fan and you like to have a little model thing of it. And so, and I also got another one today. I talked to my wife. I told my wife there's one that's hard to find and only is able to be bought at Target. I don't know how true that is. I, I mean, that's what I heard. So she had to go to Target today anyway, so she bought it for me because she's nice. It's called the Orc Forge 9476 um, number. So it is the Orc Forge. It's basically the bad guys. You get a lot of uh, of the some goblins and Urukai in this set. And it's basically the forge under Isengard where they're making the weapons and breeding the Urukai um, in the Fellowship of the Ring movie. So I'm gonna I probably work on this one tonight and put it together. It's a lot bigger. The Gandalf one was 83 pieces. The Shelob one is 227. This one's 363. So I'm slowly growing to the bigger ones. But it looks kind of cool, and there's a lot. It looks like there's a lot of interactivity with it as well. So I'm interested to see how it's gonna work out. And it also comes with a light brick, whatever that is. I don't know. Apparently it's a brick that lights up, and also comes with batteries. So apparently, obviously, you're going to need the batteries. It's cool to actually throw the batteries in there. So we'll, I'll go work on this one tonight, and then we'll take a look at it uh, uh, later on. So, all right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.